Let's talk about subtractive mixing real quick. While it's true that cyan, magenta, and yellow cancel each other out because they subtract all light when combined, I think we should look at a more complex image. For a subject, here's a little painting I did a while ago. So what I did was I printed this image on three separate pieces of acetate. I separated the cyan layer, the magenta layer, and the yellow layer. So let's pull them apart and take a look at the information that each of those layers is adding to the picture. What I think is cool is that, you know, this painting's got every color of the spectrum and the non-spectral colors, magenta and purple. You can see on that wheel in the background that some are dark and some are light. But I think what's really interesting is that the painting in each image becomes a sort of bar chart. This one's showing you which colors include magenta, that one shows you which include cyan, and this one shows you which include yellow, and how much of each is included in each of the colors across the spectrum. So, I don't know, I just think that there's kind of like more to talk about with subtractive mixing than just cyan, magenta, yellow.